However, this is very important. There are certain wisdoms which we know and there are certain wisdoms which we don't know because Allah says, and of knowledge you have been given only a little. Alhamdulillah. And that my brothers and sisters in faith and my beloved family in Islam, that is very important in da'wah. And I want you to be very careful if you give da'wah or when you give da'wah, you have to lay this principle down firmly lest it will come back and explode in your face. Because if you're going to find yourself in a position where you constantly forced to justify and explain the wisdom behind certain rulings, then when you do so, you are allowing the opponent or the one in opposition or the one who's not submitting to Allah, you're giving him an excuse and a justification not to follow the teachings of Islam and not to submit to Allah. Be careful when someone tells you, why did Allah legislate this? Why did Allah legislate that? Why is this halal? Why is this haram? The, we, if you know the wisdom, you can go ahead and tell them. But whenever someone asks me, I say, look, whether I'm able to explain that to you or not, or whether we have been given the wisdom or not is actually irrelevant. Because as a Muslim, you're supposed to submit to Allah whether you understand it or not, because your intellect is not sublime and your intellect is not profound and your intellect is not perfect, and your intellect is limited and created and deficient. Therefore, do not expect everything to make sense to you for you to accept it. Because when you open that door, and then you start giving answers that the people are not satisfied with, they're going to say, this doesn't make any sense to me, therefore I will reject it. So make sure whenever, whenever you give da'wah, you put out this disclaimer. And those who have contacted me in the past, those who have asked me this question, can attest to this. And I advise you, my brothers and sisters, whether you're involved in da'wah on a, on a large platform or a small platform, or you're dealing with your family members or with relatives or what have you, make sure you explain. Look, I'm going to try to explain to you the wisdom based on what I know from the statements of the scholars or because of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us the wisdom behind something. But do not make this a prerequisite for your submission to Allah. If we have it, وَنِعِمَّ بِهَا مِنْ نِعْمَةً Alhamdulillah, what a great bounty. If we don't have it, submit to Allah even if you don't understand. Because you don't have to understand. Now, be careful. They will say, oh, 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 see, that's exactly what we've been saying the whole time. Islam does not want you to use your brain. God does not want you to think. Da 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 da. Say slow your roll, baby doll. Don't go to the other extreme. We didn't tell you shut down your brain and stop thinking. Not at all. We're just saying, we're just saying that in certain matters that you're incapable of understanding, you need to know your limits. It doesn't mean that the religion in totality makes no sense and we're all just submitting to Allah without any reason behind it and without any reasoning and logic because Allah Azza wa Jal made His le legislation and revelation in line with our natural disposition and our logical state of mind. So yes, you will get 90% of what you need that already makes sense and is already logical. If there's a 10% that you, you're struggling with, then know that this is a problem that you have, not everybody has. And I could give you hundreds of examples. Some people can't fathom that Islam allowed, uh, you know, uh, slavery. That uh, Islam didn't just remove, just, just, you know, annihilate slavery altogether. It didn't abolish it altogether. How come it allowed slaves to exist? How can a man have relations with his female slave? And how come, and some people, they can't fathom, they get so sick in their mind, they're like, oh my God, oh, how am I by Islam? And they get all apologetical. Man, don't apologize to nothing, man. They got nothing to apologize about. You got a problem with what Allah revealed? Oh, 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 we're living in a world where it's cool to have girlfriends and it's cool for people to commit zina around the clock. These kuffar that are in a perpetual state of committing fornication and adultery, like it's a party from the day they born until they die. They have the nerve to point a finger at Islam that had a, a law 
allowing certain relations depending on a certain context based on the situation of a war between two nations and one overcoming the other and so on and so forth with very strict rules and guidelines that you have a problem with but everything else is okay transgenders and bisexuals and gays and all of this is normal that's normal people identifying themselves as a couch as a potato as a banana that's cool but someone following the teachings of islam you start scratching your head don't apologize to nobody you don't understand it too bad for you habibi purchase a new brain I'm, i don't know if you got a problem with the legislation of Allah and you don't have a problem with the deviation of human beings, then you got a problem. So I'm saying this because I, you don't have to. If someone says, how is it? How did Prophet ﷺ marry Aisha when she was six years old? And he consummated the marriage when she was nine. Yeah, isn't it better? No, it's not better. Nothing is better. What's better is that you zip your mouth. That's what's better. What's better is that you don't make us hear it, man. Because if you got a problem with what Allah legislated to his messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam, then you got a problem. It's, it's very plain. I don't got a problem with it. Wallahi, I don't got a problem with anything. Anything Allah revealed. Everything Allah revealed, I believe it 100%. Alhamdulillah. I don't even have an issue. If I were to have an issue, I would tell myself, Wajdi, shut up, you idiot. Who are you? Who are you? You little mucus piece of creature to come in and, and object to, to the divine entity and to the wisdom of Allah Azza wa Jal. Who are you, human being? Know your place and sit down. That's what I would say to myself. But Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. And I'm saying this so you can have some, some uh, inspiration for you to have this. This is Aqeedah. This is Aqeedah. That you have absolutely no doubt whatsoever in anything that is sound and that is of authentic nature from the Quran and the Sunnah. No matter how baffled your brain could be, then you, you, you got to understand that the problem is with your brain. So when you give da'wah, be careful of having to be forced to make sense out of every subject matter. Because at, which, at some point, when things don't make sense, people will leave Islam. And that is one of the byproducts of this wishy-washy, watered-down da'wah that we hear from all these different scholars and du'at. They give him this rosy image of Islam. It's so beautiful, so cute. Yay! And then they come in and then at some point they get introduced to facts and they say, hey, 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 y'all tricked me, man. You guys are deceiving me. And they leave Islam. They apostatize from the religion altogether because they, they were tricked to begin with. They were deceived to begin with. I would rather tell the person, tell it as it is. Look, this is what it is. If you want Islam, Alhamdulillah, this is your door of salvation. You don't want Islam, then you're basically purchasing a place in hell. That's your problem, buddy. You want me to make, change the religion so you can come in, then you discover, then you leave. Did Allah allow us to make this kind of change? No, Allah, Allah did not allow us to make this change. And I, the Quran is full of these evidences. I know I went in tangent here, on a tangent, but I want to make sure this is understood because I see this day and night. And I get these questions all the time. And then when it doesn't make sense, they start doubting the validity of Islam. La wallah, you should doubt the validity of your brain, whether it is still working or not. And your brain is the one that's going to guide you to the fact that Allah Azza wa Jal is Al-Hakim, Al-Alim. Allah Azza wa Jal is the most wise and the most knowledgeable. And as for us, وَمَا أُوتِيتُمْ مِنَ الْعِلْمِ إِلَّا قَلِيلًا You have only been given little knowledge. Little knowledge. So know your position, O oh, son of Adam.